The buzz over contaminated water in Grand Lake, attributed to blue-green algae toxins, has abated in the past several days. But for Larry Colbert, who lives on Horn Settlement Road in Enfield, and 21 other neighboring homeowners who draw water from the part of the lake known as Little Grand Lake, the issue remains top of mind. My name is Larry Colbert. I live here in Horn Settlement. Uh, we generally take our water from Grand Lake here in, in the small end of the lake. Um, right now, uh, we have to go across the highway to the municipality to get our water. Uh, we have been getting it from the pool, free from the, the hardware store, and now the infield fire hall is supplying water to those that need it. Um, I'm hoping soon I'll have enough information from uh, the Department of the Environment and uh, uh, a gentleman from a, a, a water specialist to uh, give us something that might be able to help us with this problem. Uh, I just need more information and hopefully it'll be coming soon. The East Hans Municipal Water Utility draws water from the Grand Lakes system to supply 7,400 people in the communities of Enfield, Elmsdale, and Lance. The information that Colbert wants on behalf of the 22 homeowners who co-own the O'Neill Waterline Association is how the municipality ensures that its water supplied from the lake is safe and how the privately owned Waterline Association can make their water safe or ensure that it is. In the meantime, they have to get their drinking water from another source and avail themselves of shower services provided by friends or the municipality at the Aquatic Centre in Elmsdale. For the Saltwire Network, this is Francis Campbell in Enfield.